Hello guys, so I just wanted to make this video because I am annoyed and I don't really, I can't, I don't have words to express the level of annoyance that I'm at right now because it's starting to become anger and it's starting to become frustration and I just need to get this out. The reason why I titled this Justice for George or the most annoying sidestep is because evil doesn't have a color and every single time this happens where a white cop and a black guy dies and I'm not saying that the cop isn't at fault everything I can see is he should get the full book of the law thrown at him from everything I can see but it, it doesn't have a color it doesn't have a gender it exists in each of us equally so to say that this is a purely racist thing is wrong it might be an evil thing Again, like I said, I don't know, but from what I can tell, that guy didn't have to do that. It was excessive. He needs to go to jail. But, you know, I don't have all the facts, so maybe I should wait. I don't know. Let me tell you a story. This is another reason why this whole conversation being, being treated this way annoys the crap out of me, okay? So, of course, I have siblings. One of my siblings is walking down the road with his friend, okay? Somebody has a mailbox, as you do, and it gets knocked over. They call the cops, the cops go down the road, and they take my sibling and put him in the back of the car with handcuffs on and ride him to my house and say, you know, we're taking him to jail. Well, he's underage, you can't take him to jail, number one, but they are going to try. So I had to go through all of this to do this. This man who did this was black. I'm sure he is still black, actually. Is black. The lady who called the cops and said that my brother definitely did this is black. However, and, and that black cop would not do any investigation. He just took the word of the black lady who said my brother did it. For sure. When my dad went out and did his own investigation and talked to a gentleman across the street, he told him that that mailbox has been laying on the ground for at least two weeks. Nobody has cared about it. For you who are Christians out there using Black Lives Matter and getting all mad because this guy, because this is injustice and everything else, did my brother deserve to be arrested just on this lady's say so? Was it racist? tell me. I'd love to hear it in the comments from you P from you guys who just are jumping all over this and ignoring all the other injustice that's going on. People of all colors, creeds, and genders are arrested and put in a cage sometimes for the rest of their life because of an unjust ruling against them. They're in jail because of the hardness of the hearts of others. Black, white, who cares? That's the way it goes. And God hates all of that. He hates all of it. He hates it when a man loses his children to an abusive mother, purely based on the fact that she's the mother. Does that make sense? No, it doesn't. He hates it when a man's raped or a woman's raped and no one believes them. Okay? And, no, and they say, oh, well, sorry, there's no proof. There's nothing we can do. He hates that people get away with evil things. He hates it when a man's assigned a child to support that's not his. Is that just? No. Uh, I suggest you look that up because it happens a lot in divorces and it happens through incorrect testing all the time. I'm sorry, my dog's in here. And so is my husband. <laughs> um, he hates it when a woman is raped. It's proven that she's raped. You know, you've got everything and he gets off because his dad knows a guy. What? This is this is unjust. He hates it when a child is used, abused, and thrown away. He hates it when a child's conceived purely for tax money or what the government will give them. And don't even tell me that doesn't happen. I've had this conversation at least four times with people. At least four. All different colors. So it doesn't even matter to that. He hates it where a man or a woman just says X, Y, or Z, whatever it is, they did this, that, or the other. And the accused is automatically get guilty. 
there's no investigation, nothing's done, you're just guilty, and we're going to clap you in irons and throw you in. All right? We didn't make a country based on that. We made it based on the biblical principle of justice. So for me, it's sidestepping to say, I'm for people of color, or POC, or I'm for Black Lives Matter, and use that stupid hashtag because that's just a drop in a bucket of what injustice looks like. And I'm annoyed that Christians who know the truth, who should be out there banging on the doors of injustice everywhere, are only screaming about this. It blows and boggles my mind that you will spend time, mental energy, emotional energy, enough so much that even if you would never comment at any other time, you will now because it's in the news, because they've, they've made you look at it. But any other injustice? Well, we're just not going to talk about that. It's whatever injustice is popular for the day, and that is the only thing anyone wants to look at. And I'm so pissed off about that, I guess. I guess I really am already at the anger level. I don't know everything that happened there. Like I said, I've only seen a portion of a video, but what I saw wasn't right. All right. But what about, where is the fiery, this isn't right, emotional thing for all the other stuff I listed? For child pornography, for, you know, child trafficking, for kidnapping, for all of this stuff, for the slavery that still goes on today. We want to, it seems like, it seems like there's a portion of the church that just wants to say something when it's in the news and everybody's talking about it. Then after that, we don't care. We don't say anything about it. We're not trying to make things right. And the Bible says we should be lovers of justice, justice for everyone. Everyone, the cop and the perpetrator are assumed innocent until proven guilty. That's our gauge. It's our promise to each other. Sure, Black Lives Matter, but so does everyone else. And yes, it has to be said. Because otherwise, we get so caught up in it, we forget everything else. When you single out a group of people, you're automatically saying the others don't matter as much. Because you're spending your energy, your time, and everything else to bring the spotlight onto just this one. This is not a biblical stance, and we need to start taking the biblical stance of justice and liberty for all, like we say, not just for the one who's in the news today or will stoke the most emotional response and keep your attention. We should be advocates of justice matters. And that's all I have to say.